And of course, action to declare the nullity of an absolutely simulated contract. When we talk about simulation, that will be dealt with tomorrow because there are two kinds of simulation. You have the absolutely simulated contract and the relatively simulated contract. Between these two kinds of contract, the remedy of declaring it null and void will only be available to an absolutely simulated contract. Why? Because in an absolutely simulated contract, parties do not really intend to bind one another. While in a relatively simulated contract, there is really an intention to enter into the contract, but what is reflected in the instrument is not the real intention of the parties. So it's still binding. Therefore, the action to declare it null and void cannot be applicable. Okay? Now, we now discuss the different kinds of obligation which I enumerated a while ago. We first go to the ob uh, classification of obligation according to the peculiarity of the prestation. Why peculiarity of the prestation? Because its existence, its termination will be dependent upon the happening or non-happening of an event. So, we have here the pure obligation that is demandable at once. It does not depend upon an event. Or the other one, an obligation with a condition or an obligation with a period. Take a. Okay, that's it. An obligation with a period. Now, I don't think that you will have any problem with a pure obligation. So, the only problem might be in relation to an obligation that is subject to a condition or an obligation that is subject to a period. In the first place, we have to, again, remember what is a condition and what is a period. A condition or a period like a fortuitous event is also an event. A condition or a period is separate and distinct from an obligation. That's why it is a peculiarity of the prestation. Okay? So do not think that the obligation is the condition or the obligation is the period. The condition, the period, they are both events. What distinguishes a condition from a period is that a condition is a future and uncertain event. When you say uncertain, it may or it may not happen. So what can be an example of a condition? Yung mga nagpapapute at nagiinom ng ano yun? Mga capsule na merong melatayon ba yun? <laughs> melatayon sa insekto, no? <laughs> eh, talagang puputikan, no? <laughs> so, kahit na isang boti ang inumin mo, talaga bang puputika, o kahit na yung papaya, ano daw yun, ano? So, kung gusto mo ng natural, kahit isang baldi ng papaya, <laughs> Isok mo yung katawan mo doon. Ang problema, kung yun ang kondisyon, pag pumuti ka, pakakasalang kita. So, is that a condition or is that a period? May posibilidad bang pumuti ka nga? I do not know if you saw the film, but it was uh, Elizabeth Ramsey. It's a very, very old film, a Tagalog film, and that of Fernando Paul Jr. <laughs> 
Hindi <laughs> naman ako ganun katanda. Ah. But then at that time, what Elizabeth Ramsey did was that she decided to take a bath using milk. Kasi sabi sa kanya, pag naligo ka ng gatas, puputi ka. So, banye, banyerang gatas, naligo siya. <laughs> Hindi pa rin siya pumuti. Kasi ang, nag, uh, sabi, ni, sabi niya kay Fernando po, doon sa pelikula, ano na ano ko yung bang uh, tawag dito? Ano yung ano ng mga pamahiin ng mga Pilipino? Na ano siya yung na usog ba siya o na nadiwata ganyan basta gano kaya siya umitim kasi sabi ni ano ni ni Ronnie po paano ka puputi nung una sabi niya abigyan mo ko ng 1000 na halik puputi daw siya sabi sa kanya so hinalikan siya ng 1000 <laughs> hindi siya pumuputi tapos sabi niya hindi puputi ako sabi nung ano pag naligo ako ng gatas So, naligo siya ng gatas, hindi pa rin siya puputi. So, kung gano'n ang, condi- eh, kung gano'n ang, ano, ang, ang condition na ini-impose, bumabagsak siya sa definition natin, the, our own definition of what a condition is, that it is an event that is not sure to happen. It may or it may not happen. Okay? Always remember that definition. Why? Because that definition will lead you to what? To answer any question related to the obligation. Assuming that the problem involves an obligation that is subject to a condition. But the first thing that you have to remember, class, as I've said, immediately separate the condition from the obligation. Kasi pag pinagsama mo na siya, mas malilito ka na. Always remember condition, event to event, event, event. It is not an obligation. 